this is the H8 block assembly video. And this is a modified block, so the actual layout is in the book that came with the paper pieces pack. This is the H8. So they removed all the piecing type things around the edges, and instead you have a big block that has these bits that are appliqued onto it. So I have all my bits already prepped. Here's my big block that I'm going to use for the background, the whole background. And then I have all my other bits right here. My fabric is not directional, although when I was doing my block prep, I did not know that. And when I did my block prep, I put the word out on these two pieces because this is a straight edge and this has a very slight curve in it, as does the, each one of these ends because this ends up being a circle. So you wanted to make sure that you labeled which side was the correct side. So I'm going to assemble each one of these units individually, and then I'm going to place these systematically on my block for applique. When I go to base these, I'm gonna use the technique that I used for the first time in H7, because I liked it so much for quarter square triangles. Um, you baste this end and then you baste the 90 degree angle because then you have your tags on the outside of this unit. You can then tuck your tags in when you applique it and I think it's a lot easier to tuck your tags in when you have them dedicated to one location rather than interfering with another one because if you do this side last and that goes in so that these two will be in the same direction they won't they won't nest they'll fight each other so for an applique situation even just like the piecing thing i think it's going to be a lot easier for me but i may be wrong so we're going to find out together so i'm going to baste all these with the tags coming out which means this first and these two then these I'm going to baste, I'm going to glue baste the 90, I'm going to gathering stitch the outside corner, and then these I'm going to glue baste. Yes, it's curved, but it's not curved enough to warrant a gathering stitch basting. So I'll just make sure that I, that I stick the fabric real tight against this curved edge so I don't lose the curve. Okay, so I got some of my pieces basted. I have basted these on the 90 degrees and then I gathering stitched the edge to get my curve. And then I made sure that my curved edge was on the outside. These are just taped right now. So I gotta stitch those together and then I'm gonna put these into semicircles and then attach them to the long piece here making the little circle unit this one is stitched this is a quarter square triangle unit I uh, basted it so that the tags go up to the outside and then I'll tuck in the tags as I applique it down to the main square and I just have this one's taped and these have to be basted yet so So now I got four of my square bits done, and then I got my center circle unit and my big old square. So now I have to place my applique pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the middle of this and line that up with this point, and then make sure that the points here, these points right there, line up with the edge of my block. Dis, you know, because these tags are going to be tucked underneath, so you're not going to see that. So the edge of the block has to be these two points, and it has to be centered on this point so that it makes a 90 degree angle as best you can. And I'm going to find the middle of this. I'm going to use a pencil, find the middle of this, and center my circle as well. I got to find the center of my circle, and I'll put a pin in it. And I'll find a center of my square and I'll put a pin in it and I'll show you how I'm doing that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my block and I'm going to flip it over 
and I'm going to find the middle by lining a ruler right on each corner. And I don't have to draw a line all the way across, I just have to draw it where the middle is going to intersect. I just got to be able to find the middle. Okay, I'm going to draw a line and then I'm going to do the same thing over here, lining it up and then drawing this. So there's my middle. Okay, then I'm going to take, set this aside, and I'm going to take my circle, and I've already got my X that I need to use to find the middle. So I'm going to use my ruler, and my ruler is clear so I can see what's going on with the fabric. And this is a one, two and a half circle, so that means I need to go one and a quarter inches in. So that would be here, whoops, doesn't work when you're trying to poke a pin into plastic. So that would be there on that side, but you have to double check it on the other 90. So I'm going to move it over just a little bit. So there's my center. There's my centerpiece. And then what I'm going to do, oops, I probably should have put that in the top. Let's put that in the top. I got a hole there now. So we're going to put that in the top part. And then I'm going to find my middle from the front. And you could probably find the middle from the front as well because you're going to cover up any marks you make. So that might have worked as well. Oops, okay, so I found my middle and I got my pin. So if this is the top of my block, I'm gonna center this and try to line this up best I can. So I got the middle where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna take my stapler and staple it in two spots minimum. So I'm going to staple this here, and then I'm going to staple this on this side. And I'm going to staple the other two sides too, just because I don't like it when it's terribly loose. It needs to be loose, but it doesn't need to be terribly loose. Alright, so I got this stapled down, I'm going to take my pin out. And then I'm going to work on my corner squares. Now for the square units. These square units, I don't know if you can see this, but these square units are just over, like barely over, they're like one inch and 30, and then plus 30 second. So I will, I will find the middle. What I'll do is I'll take my inch and I'll put like a little bit on one edge. I'll center it between an inch is what I'm trying to say. And then I'll find the middle. And I need, oops, I need to find the middle of the darker edge because that is what's pointing towards the corner. So this isn't going to do anything. Let me stick a pin in it. <laughs> All right, so that's the middle. And then I'm going to take this and line it up right with the corner of my block. And if I do that, I've got the middle of the block of my square and the, and the corner of my block and so now I just got to line up the points at the edge and that tells me that I'm in the right spot and if you're slightly off it's not it's not the end of the world because you can kind of fudge it in with applique but you don't want to be hugely off all right so if I move my pieces my flags I can see that I'm near the edge there and I'm near the edge there and I'm going to take my stapler and staple it down These I'm going to do two staples because I could get away with one, but there's four pieces. There's four pieces in each square, and I want to make sure that I don't have bending issues. So now that I've got that attached, I'm going to go around and attach the other ones and then applique my pieces down. Okay, so I got one of my squares appliqued down and my staples are taken out. I'm working on the second one and 
Um, somebody asked how I deal with my tags. These tags are sticking out, and so I'm going to take I'm going to take this and I'm going to push this down and push stick it underneath. And I want to make sure that I'm not bending this sharp point because this is where my point is. I have a tendency to do that sometimes, and I think I did that a little bit here, but it should balance out when I take the papers out. Okay, so I got one of my squares appliqued down, and I'm working on my second one, and somebody was asking me how I deal with my tags. So I'm going to take my tag and I'm, I'm use my stiletto and I put, stick it under like this. And if you notice, it's gonna. This is your point that you're gonna pull on, right? This the way I just did that. And I'm just gonna take this and cram it under there. Sometimes you have to help it unglue, but it's okay that it's thick because you're gonna take this and connect it to here and close that up. So don't worry about the thickness as much as making sure that all those fibers are out of your line of sight. And. Yeah, this is sticking up pretty well, but it, 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 you get the point. But you want to make sure that you don't push that first section in too far because this can blunt your point, and I think that's what happened here on both sides. So when I take my papers out, I think it'll be all right. So I'm going to finish this square, and I'm going to move my staples very carefully not to snag my fabric because I've done that before. So you just you want to make sure that your staples are upright and then you just slowly pull them out this if it's going to snag it's going to snag on the very end of the staple so that's the part you just got to be careful of i haven't had too many problems but it's just one of those things you got to be aware of okay so now i got all four of my squares applique on and my staples removed i just got to applique my circles and the points that i which i have to be careful about will be these ends of the circles because this one, while this one's flush, this one has a bump. So you wanna make sure that you even them out because even if it's not perfectly round, if it smoothly transitions from one piece to the next, it's not gonna matter. Okay, so I'm done with my block and I just wanted to make a note. I took out all my basting and I'm already done with everything, but I want to make a note about the papers. I don't take any of my papers out until I've attached my block into the quilt, into the rows and into the quilt, because I have to take this paper out before I can take these papers out because they're in the way. I have to take the paper, the big giant paper out, and then I have to cut the background fabric away from behind this circle, whole circle and then get in there to get these pieces out and same thing with these squares.